Welcome to Electron Line. The next three-phase circuit we're going to take a look at, and it's the most important one, the most common one, is what we call the balanced Y delta circuit. This is where the source has a Y combination and the, the, the um, load has a delta combination. So let's take a look and see how we then calculate the currents and the voltages. Well, first of all, the voltage is at the source. So you can see that we still have the voltage from A to N, N being the neutral, the voltage from B to N, and the voltage from C to N. Those are considered the phase voltages. Notice the relative phase angle between them is that the voltage from A to N, if we consider that to be at zero degrees phase, then we can see that the voltage from B to N is at minus 120, and the voltage from C to N is at minus 240, which, by the way, is the same as plus 120. So this is how we can then uh, indicate the phase voltages. It'll have a magnitude, typically it's an RMS value, times the phase angle, so the magnitude and phase angle format. If we now want to express the voltages from A to B, from B to C, and from C to A, those are the same as the line voltages produced by the source between A and B, between B and C, and between C and A. So we know that the line voltage between A and B is going to be equal to the square root of 3 times the phase voltage from A to N with a 30 degree lead angle. And so we can then say that the voltage from A to B is the same as the voltage on the load from A to B, which is equal to the square root of 3 times the magnitude of the phase voltage between A and N and a 30 degree phase angle lead. So in other words, if this here is the phase voltage from A to N, and this here is the line voltage from A to B, which is the same as the line voltage from A to B like this. A to B is across the load. A to B here is across the two uh, phases of the source. And then we have a lead angle of 30 degrees, and notice that the magnitude of VAB the magnitude of VAB is equal to the square root of 3 times the magnitude of VAN. So that's the magnitude difference, and then we have a phase angle difference. So then notice that the line voltage from A to B, B to C, and C to A is the square root of 3 times the phase voltage. And of course, since each of them have a 30 degree lead, we have a 30 minus 90 and minus 210. Of course, minus 210 plus 360 would be... Uh, plus 150. And finally, the currents at the load. So we can determine the currents at the load, IAB, IBC, and ICA, by simply taking the voltage, VAB, VBC, and VCA, and dividing it by the load uh, impedance. And notice that to have a balanced load, the impedances better be the same on all three phases right here. So if the impedances are the same, then we can calculate the current IAB, IBC, and ICA by simply taking the line voltage, feeding those three, divided by the impedance and the balanced impedance, of course. And so that is what a wide delta circuit looks like, and we're going to show you how to calculate all the currents and the, and the, uh, the, line, the line currents and the uh, phase currents and so forth on a typical wide delta circuit. So stay tuned and we'll show you some more examples on that.